Tonight is a pink out. This week, Ethan and Jenna head to Jenna's hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. To meet a college student who's determined to spread the word about breast cancer. My mother passed away from breast cancer, and I just kind of wanted to do something to honor her. She helped co-found the Young Women's Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation. Their main goal is to educate women under 40 about the risks of breast cancer. I was 37 the first time I was diagnosed. But for someone like you to, instead of being angry about it, you're very uplifting. Thank like, you. And you know what? You're an example for her. And that's what's so important for me, for my daughter, to see people who keep fighting and keep pushing. Even though your mom did not win her battle, you're winning it for her. You are. I pulled a few strings for you guys, and I thought it'd be pretty fun to get down on field level at the Home Depot Center, giant stadium. You can imagine what it's like when it's filled with people. I have one more thing. Lauren! Before my traumatic brain injury, I was a, a normal kid. What did the doctor say? They basically said that there was no way for her to survive. This is one of the biggest events of my life. <laughs> And she said she couldn't do it, um, saying that her hand really hurt. I don't need my hands. <laughs> and Mr. Robles giving her that confidence. Yes, you can. I was born with cystic fibrosis. This is a genetic disease. Claire has an amazing attitude when it comes to her disease. I really honestly believe that your mind and the way you look at things really changes everything. Her message is she wants, you know, to help others rise above it and go out and live life and that nothing is impossible. I've lived more than most people have lived their entire life. I really have no clue what I'm here to do, but I feel like I, what I'm doing right now is what needs to be done right now.